If you have a physical product that you want to sell and you want to set it up through System.io, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to set up your payment gateway so you, that you can get paid. I'm going to show you how to add a product and a pricing plan and to show you how to set up a button so that once you press it, it will take you to another section in that page, on that same page, if that makes sense. It will when I show you the funnel. So let's go over and take a look at the funnel. And this will work with any product, but I'm selling artwork. I've set it up to sell my artwork. So this is the funnel that I will be showing you. So let's go take a look at that. And here is the funnel. Uh, let's go to the top here. Um, as you can see, it's, it has my artwork. Bring a little bit of whimsy into your home. The free art print. So I'm giving away a free art print here. And here's the button I was telling you about. You click on this button, takes you down to the choices. You can make a choice of which print that you want for free. And then once you choose one of those, it will take you to an upgrade page. This is not an upgrade page that System.io offers as an upgrade page. It's just another page that I've created that um, gives them an option to upgrade. So they can either choose this six, six by six print, which this should be actually gray. So, and this should be brighter so that they can choose this one. This is the upgrade to 8x8 at for $14.95. And then once they choose that, that will take them over to the order page. So this is the whole funnel right here. And this is all set up. And as you can see, I have the credit card set up. I uh, disabled the PayPal option so that I can show you how to set that up. And we're going to do that right now. So what we're going to do is go back over to the back end. And this is in funnels. This is system I.O. You go to funnels. You go to art prints and then you click on that and this shows you the back end here. These are all the pages that I've created. Um, and you also want to name this. You don't want to leave it as sales page. You want to, um, because it will show up if you're doing Facebook ads, it'll actually pop up as sales page. Free art offer or vitamin offer, whatever you're selling, just do that. And then um, there's the choose the size on the elf or the magic bubbles and then the upgrade, uh, this should say upgrade here too. And then the thank you page. So let's set up our uh, integration. So what we want to do is open up our PayPal account and we come, and then once we do that, we'll come over here to our picture, come down to settings, and we're gonna come to payment gateways. And as you can see, um, Stripe is set up. So it says disconnect or it also has PayPal if you want to connect it. So what you want to do is hit connect and then it'll ask you for username, password and signature. And this is what you'll get over at PayPal. So we'll come over to PayPal and we'll come to our name here and come down to account settings and come down to API access right here on the right. Click update and then scroll down to this NVP SOAP API integration, classic. Hit that, manage API credentials, and this will give you the username, uh, password, uh, password, and signature. I'm going to do that right now. So I'm gonna copy it. And then head back over to System.io and just paste it right there. Do the same thing for the other two. And then once that's done, you hit save. And now that is saved. So um, now it's still not connected to your uh, order form. What you need to do is go back into your funnels. Let's come back over here to funnel. And so here's our funnel again, our back end of the funnel. Come over here to settings. And then here's the payment down here. So as you can see, the credit card is set up. All you have to do is click on PayPal. Now that it's integrated and click save. Now we can accept PayPal and credit cards as payments for our products. So that's fantastic. Let's go look at our order form. Uh, any of the order forms right here. Let's take a look at it and scroll down. As you can see, PayPal is an option now. So the uh, credit card is at default and then PayPal is an option. So now let's add a 
a product. Before we add a product, let me go over the bonus that I'm giving you today, and that is this entire funnel absolutely free. All you need to do is comment down below, say, I want it, and I will get the share code over to you. All you have to do is add it to your um, system IO account. And how you do that is actually open your system IO and copy the code, open a new window and paste that code into the address bar and it'll automatically populate into your system IO account, into your funnel section. Okay, and plus if you would like me to build any other funnels and make a video on it and share that with you, just comment that below what kind of funnel you'd like and I will build it. Now they have been making changes to this section for the last week, which has been a, a nightmare for me trying to make this video because it keeps changing. And if you look at this, this order form here, um, it used to have the, the payment plan right here. It used to tell you how much it was, the 599, and it used to have a little blue dot here. Now it's totally changed and then the, it's, it's missing, totally missing the payment and it doesn't work at all. So. What you need to do is edit that. So we're gonna create a new product and we have to do it a little bit differently than we used to. So let's get right into that and I'll show you how to create a product in here. Let's go back to system. We're gonna come up to products and physical product. And as you can see, I, I created this one. Um, this is the new one that I've just created with the new system. Uh, all, these, all the rest of them you can see don't have this dot here because they don't have the dot in there anymore. But I wanted to add that, so that's what I did. But we're going to uh, create a new one, and we're gonna name it. So whatever you name it, it's gonna show up in the order form um, in two spots. So, and I'll show you what I mean here. So we are going to name this um, Framed Magic Bubbles. So we're going to name it the Frame Magic Bubbles. The description, you can write a, a very long description because that's also going to show up in here. Um, and we're just going to put, uh, for now, 30 by 40 framed magic bubbles print. And then down here, um, the USD. Uh, it, they do want you to put in a, a SKU number, so you have to click it and they it's auto-populated. You can change it if you want to. Currency, US dollars, they have a little bit of problems with that right now. Uh, we're gonna go um, 3,000, there. So 3,000, the, the, the problem they're having right now is that the US dollar is on the wrong side. It's not next to the, the 3,000. I've contacted them, hopefully they're gonna fix that. Now here you can upload uh, media, and that's brand new. That's a pretty cool option. Oh, so see, we grab the picture, and it, they want to crop it out, which is um, not good. So I guess you need a very small picture here. This is like a 500 by 500 clip to upload. So you have to clip it. Let's see what happens anyways. We'll try it. It's very, uh, of course, we definitely wouldn't use that, but we're going to see what happens when we add it. We'll click Save This. Uh, oh, there's one more other thing I needed to do for that is to add this, the bubble, uh, the dot. So we come over here to coolsymbols.com, scroll down to circles, and click the circle that you want. Well, let's see, where's the circles? Did I pass it? Squares. Here's the circles. So this is the one I clicked before. Um, we'll try that one copy it and then come back over here and just paste it control V and then a space now we'll save that now we have to go to our back to our funnel steps and we'll come over here to funnels again art prints and we'll come down to and this is an order form that I've created uh, well, I guess I can show you how to create that. So add a step, we're gonna uh, order form, framed magic bubbles. I like to name them what, exactly what it is, choose the step, and we're gonna choose an a, um, order form. 
So we'll go over here and they'll give you the options to choose the order forms as soon as it populates and then scroll down and this is the one I choose. So I'm going to select that and now here we, we're here we're going to add our product. This is the order form um, settings and so we're going to come down here to physical product and it just gives us choose the product. Let me show you um, how the old system used to work and it still works the same on digital products. So they give you this these three key, uh, choices. Resources, which is your you can choose a product, then you can choose your pricing plan, uh, but now you can't do that. So you go to physical product, uh, choose a product, and we'll come down to our framed magic bubbles, and we'll click save up here. It's important to save it. So now we will come over here to edit the page, and now we have to, of course, change the picture out. I guess we'll do that real quick. We will change out that picture to this one and then there are two things so this was the old pricing plan that you used that you used to be able to choose with the digital product section I just showed you but now this doesn't work here so what we're gonna do is like totally get rid of this uh, we're gonna get rid of this section and we're gonna get rid of this section. We're gonna put something in here. So now what you need to do is choose your product. There's two things you need to choose. Uh, customer service said you just one, but I've noticed you have to do two of these. Um, uh, order, offer price and product price. So I'm gonna choose the product price and put it over here, right above the pay button. And see, it shows all this. It shows the picture. So it'd be nice to put in a little thumbnail picture of the actual order, although it does have a picture up here. So you could leave that, um, you could get rid of that totally. What they suggested was to move this and put it over here, which I didn't like. Where did it show up? Oh, down here. So you can drag it up. Did it go? It didn't go. You have to wait till that little blue line starts, and there you go. You could do that. I don't like that. I'm going to totally um, get rid of this, and I'm actually going to go back to our funnel step. I don't want to save the changes. I'm going to go back to our funnel step. I'm going to go back to our products, physical product, and I'm going to get rid of that picture. Click Edit. That picture is totally um, messing it up. Click save because it already has it. We put the picture up above that anyways. So let's go back to our funnel steps. Come back. I think we're already on it. Yeah, with the order form. So here we are on the order form. Click edit. Oh, we didn't save the picture. So let's put our picture back in real quick. Insert that. Takes a minute to... To populate now what we're gonna do is like I said we're gonna put in that uh, pricing plan down here as soon as it populates gives us a choice come over here to uh, product we're gonna bring the product right over here we're gonna get rid of this actually um, and then we're gonna get rid of this and there's our our price and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a minute but first, we're going to put in the offer price, and we're going to put that right above our payment. And see how it looks here? It's not going to look like that. It's just going to say framed magic bubbles, and it's going to say $3,000. So let's take a look at that. When you click the preview button, this is what it looks like. See the framed magic bubbles with the $3,000 US. And see the dollar sign is in the wrong position. They need to work on that and fix that. And here again, it is in the same, uh, the wrong position over here too. So I like this a little bit, but I do need to tweak it just a tad bit. I don't want that quantity in there. So we go back over here to our um, edit page. We'll click on the gear icon here, and then up here it says display quantity. And we're gonna just click that off there. I don't want the quantity on there. And also what we're going to do is change the font. I'm gonna to go to um, Google Fonts, go to Roboto, and 700 bold, I like that. 
So I like the way that looks. This one you can't change the 30 by 40, you can't change the color on that or the, the font size. But that is our payments uh, order form all complete. Now let's take a look at it. Here's our order details. This is our picture. And of course you're gonna put the name in here and all that. You got frame magic bubbles. There's one other thing I wanna do. I wanna make that the whole, I wanna the bubbles to come up here. So we're gonna go back and change that. This one's okay over here. And then we have the, the uh, pay now button and we have the description right there. So let's go back over and I'll show you how to do this. So click on the gear icon. We're gonna come over here to this padding. What we want is the margin. So we want this margin. And we are going to, actually we can do both of these margins. Not that one. This one. There we go. So these two, I make them wider and it will, it will even it out. And so now we have framed magic bubbles, US $3,000 and it shows this. You can also uh, get this a little bit closer together by messing with those pad the padding. But that is our order form. So we have it completed. Hopefully they'll fix this in the next few days. And once they click on that, uh, they can pay either with credit card or with PayPal. Click on the PayPal and then pay. So that's how we add a product and our order form. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to get this button to navigate down to this section over here. So we go over to um, edit. So we're on the edit page and then we'll scroll, scroll down all the way to that section that we wanted, uh, which is about right here. We'll click on this. Um, let's click on this one right here and go over here to the left, scroll down until you see this code right down here and then you'll copy that, click the copy and that's the um, section ID or block ID and then we'll come back up to our button which is right here. We'll click on our button, click on the gear icon to edit it. And then we'll come up here to, to the left, you see open URL. That's what we want, open a URL. And then we'll paste the code right in here. And that's where we want the button to go. So you could have it go to a, a, a website or anything like that. Uh, but in this, sec in this case, we want it to go down to that section. So we just click it, put in the ID for that section. And that's it. Um, the reason I didn't show you how to build this whole funnel out from scratch is because for one, it would take too long. For two, I'm giving you the whole funnel for free. And if you do want to learn how to create this all from scratch, I'm gonna to link to a video that I've created already. And you can watch that and it'll show you how to create this whole thing from scratch. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.